In the depths of the night in ancient China, the sages of yore would gaze upon the celestial expanse, contemplating the mysteries that lay within. What thoughts would occupy their enlightened minds? Confucius once said, governing by virtue is like the North Star, steadfast in its position with other stars revolving around it. This metaphor implies that when leaders govern with moral integrity, they become the guiding force, just as the North Star guides the Northern Hemisphere. The importance of governing by virtue becomes apparent. Following in the footsteps of Confucius, the principle of governing by virtue became the cornerstone of ancient Chinese politics. To govern by virtue, leaders must first cultivate their own moral character so as to set an example and inspire others. It demands that leaders prioritize the well-being of the people, implementing policies that engender trust, security, and prosperity. Uh,首先,为政者本身要加强自己的修养 the political tradition of governing by virtue continues to this day, imbued with new meaning in the modern age. Upholding political integrity means upholding moral integrity, adhering to public ethics and personal standards. In the birthplace of Confucius, there is the Kong family mansion as the official residence of the direct descendants of Confucius. Officials from all over the country come here to learn how to integrate the traditional concept of governing by virtue into modern state and social governance. One striking image that catches the eye in the Kong family mansion is a wall painting titled Beware of Greed. In this painting, a ferocious beast eagerly devours treasures, even having the audacity to try to swallow the sun, leading to its downfall into the sea. <laughs> Another notable structure within the mansion is the Gate of Glory. Built in 1503, it is exquisitely adorned with four wooden carvings of pendant lotus blossoms. The lotus symbolizes purity and integrity in Chinese culture. It also serves as a reminder for officials to govern with integrity so as to better serve their country. Governing by virtue reveals the core concept of Confucianism in governing a nation. Those in power should emulate the benevolence of heaven and earth, prioritize the well-being of the people, and align their own moral character with the responsibilities of governance. The essence of the rule of virtue lies in benevolence and righteousness, not rule by force. Its ultimate goal is to pursue the well-being of the people, social stability, and national development.
The political philosophy of governing by virtue has remained vibrant for thousands of years, embodying the universal moral pursuit of humankind. This crystallization of Chinese wisdom, along with the wisdom of other cultures, composed the shining stars in the constellation of human civilizations.